Hi, so this is tip number five. You are now under contract. And what that means is a couple of things. Your, um, the property cannot be marketed anymore. It has to be listed in the MLS as under contract. Um, they can't actively market the property. There's a binding contract on it. So as the buyer, this means it's time for home inspections. And during attorney review, the, um, the attorneys, the buyer sellers have um, agreed upon the time frame of when the um, inspections could get done. And also they agreed upon a time frame of when the inspection requests should be made. So the home inspection typically includes the radon inspection and the wood destroying insect inspection plus the whole house inspection. So um, you you could find one company that does all three. You could find a, a company that also includes the, um, which I, I highly recommend, um, is the underground oil tank sweep or underground storage tank sweep, whatever you want to call it. But you definitely want to, if the house is older, you definitely want to do a sweep. If there was ever oil in that neighborhood, you definitely want to do a sweep. If there was oil that was converted to gas, do a sweep. If there's an above ground oil tank, do a sweep. So it's just, it, it's a $300 inspection. Um, but again, you can find a company that does, does all those inspections rolled into one. Um, also if there's a well, you might want to get the well pump inspected. Um, and if there's a lot of chimneys and sometimes chimneys are sold as is. So if you want to make sure that the chimney is um, safe, you bring a chimney inspector with you, um, just to get that checked out. So you get all your home inspections done. You want to, tr oh, septic. If there's a septic, you absolutely want to get that inspection done as well. So you want to try and get all those home and in uh, those inspections done on the same day. Um, it, you could be there for five or six hours. It's a long day, but you want to do that just so you can get all the reports back. And then once you get all the reports back from these different companies, then you and the attorney go through the reports and, and figure out what it is that's most important to you. Now, remember if you got your offer accepted in, in 2022, you're more than likely um, went up against other offers and there was multiple offers on this property. I mean, that's just kind of a, a given these days. Um, so if you have, if you beat out multiple offers, remember that you beat out multiple offers. And um, so when you are going through that inspection report, try to look at the big stuff. Don't look at the little stuff that, um, you know, because a seller could say, you know what, I'm going to the next offer. Um, and we're not, we're not going to, you know, we're not going to entertain 25 things that they want fixed, you know? So, um, just remember it is a seller's market. Buyers don't like to hear it, but your offer could get accepted. Um, and it will get accepted. Um, but you just want to make sure that you're not going crazy with the, the home inspection requests. Um, a lot of times buyers are waiving all home inspections, except for like the big stuff, structural, mechanical, um, um, environmental. Um, you just want to make sure that, um, you're doing your due diligence, but you're not over the top. Even if, even if you like went over asking $20,000, I'm just saying I'm a listing agent. I, I see this happen all the time. So you just want to make sure that you're being reasonable with the requests. Um, so you go through, you go through your, your reports, you have a certain amount of time period frame to re respond to those reports. And, um, and then the, the sellers have a certain amount of time frame to re respond to your response. So, um, so just keep, just keep it moving, keep in touch with your attorney, keep in touch with your agent. Um, and then during, um, close to the end of the, um, home inspection contingency phase of this, um, the whole, um, transaction, you're going to start with your mortgage contingency. So they're going to send out an appraiser. Um, they're going to, um, start the title search and they're going to, you know, work with you on the title search and also, um, 
you're going to definitely buy a title um, insurance. So, so the title search just basically what it does is it just makes sure it makes sure that there's no liens on that property, no tax liens, no divorce liens, no um, old mortgage liens, you know, so it just you just want a clear title when you're buying that house. If the title search doesn't come up with something and 10 years later, something pops up, you have that insurance to cover yourself. So um, home inspection, mortgage, um, the a mortgage part of it, the appraisal, the title, title search, title insurance, and then, then it's gonna go, the mortgage part of it goes to underwriting, and then after you get the clear to close, then you close on your property. So, um, and then you get the keys to your house and that's always very exciting. The closing typically takes place in a title company's office or your attorney's office. Um, your agent may or may not be allowed to go with you um, because of the pandemic. They don't want a lot of people in the office. So, so just know that may be a possibility as well. Before you close though, you need to do your walkthrough with your agent and you want to do that the day before or the day of. As close to the closing as you could possibly get, you want to do that walkthrough. So, so I hope this you know, helps, but there's a lot of moving parts from contract to close. Um, and just, just follow your attorney and your agent's lead during this part of the transaction. And um, yeah, I hope that helps. And I hope you find a house. If you need an agent, you can always call me. Um, myself and my team, we would love to help you. That's what we do. We help people find homes. So um, have a great day. Bye-bye.